Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For this week's video, I'm gonna be redoing this bridesmaid's dress. Now, this dress doesn't belong to me, it's my friend Courtney's, but she's basically given me free creative reign over the dress to change it any way that I want. Hopefully, at the end of it, it'll be something that she can wear a little bit more often. I know for a fact, the first thing I wanna change about this dress is the color. So we're gonna head over to the craft store and get some fabric dye. I really hope it doesn't take a long time. Look at this line. All the moms out Tuesday morning getting craft supplies. One eternity later. Found it. Should we go gray or navy? Gray or navy? Gray or navy? I kind of want to get out of here. I'm feeling frost gray. Yeah, let's go with gray. Let's have a look at the wedding stuff, shall we? Holy fucking smokes! That turned into a 40 minute fabric dye run. Thank God I didn't come on a Saturday. Nope, no, it's not gonna stay the way I want it to stay. I just got home and I went upstairs to the loft because why it's drumming and I heard the doorbell ring. So I'm instantly like, oh shit, I hope it's not any of the neighbors being mad about the noise. I run down and it was the neighbor across the street, this sweet old lady, she brought me this art that her niece made. And it's so cute, it says find peace with the rain and it's got like sea glass little thunder clouds. What the heck, that's so cute, right? Like what a nice thing to do. To dye this dress, I needed to fill a huge stainless steel pot with water, and then once it was just about boiling, I added in the bottle of dye in the already dampened dress. It needed to cook like this, being constantly stirred for 30 minutes. However, as it neared the end of the 30 minutes, I realized it wasn't looking all that different. Okay, I'm taking this off five minutes early because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna actually dye. It looks the same, but like maybe one or two shades darker than it was before. Ooh, some serious polyester. Oh god, this is so dangerous. <laughs> okay. Ugh, okay, I'm not even gonna rinse it. You're supposed to rinse it after, but I'm honestly just gonna go leave it on the porch to dry so it can be dyed again later. Here's the top. Now we can get like a full look. Woo. Yeah, look, it basically didn't do anything. Sheesh. So obviously dyeing the dress the first time didn't work out so well. I'm on the website of the dye company and it actually says here that if you're dyeing 100% polyester or trying to achieve a very bold color, double the dye quantity. It also says item can remain in dye bath from 10 minutes up to one hour. On the bottle, it just says to dye it for 30 minutes. So that also could make a difference too. The game plan now is to order the dye for pickup because I'm not standing in line at the craft store again. Go pick it up, two bottles of black, up to one hour. And hopefully at that point we can achieve a gray dress. Today is take two, dye in Courtney's dress. Two bottles of black this time. Yesterday I filled the whole entire pot with cold water and it took so long to boil. So I'm gonna fill it with like super hot water today. Oh, there's a spider and I'm drowning him. Oh. I'm so sorry, pal. Let me put him outside. Okay, now we can resume. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want him to drown. Hopefully it should boil really fast. I think like that's probably good. Okay. Didn't you learn in school like I did that like cold water boils quicker? I don't think it's true. I know. I like, I was told that in school and then my brother says that kind of stuff to me when I'm around him. Yeah. And then when you actually go and do it, it never works. Like I always just start boiling hot water faster. Dude, when we watch cooking shows on YouTube, like they boil water in a kettle and then pour it into a pot and turn it on to boil. Like it's already hot water. Okay, well I had the wrong science teacher. Yeah, what? I don't remember learning that in school, but I feel like my mom used to just say that. Oh, somebody used to say it? Yeah. Maybe it's not school, maybe it's just... Maybe you just heard it too, also from somebody? Yeah, that could be. Yeah, it could be it. It's just like a sad little. I was about to say, it looks very sad. Mask. Yes. <laughs> very sad looking. I know. Courtney's gonna watch this video and be like, wow, I paid hundreds of dollars for this dress and it's like. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Smushed up in a kitchen that's sink. That's right. This is like a $300 <laughs> dress in our kitchen sink. Yep. Yes, yes. Water. Yes. 
Mm, yes. <laughs> yes, water. Die. Yes, die. Oh, Lindsay, what are you cooking? Yeah. Polyester dress. Dude, I came home yesterday and uh, you had it all set up and there was the pot of water boiling. Yeah. And for like a split second, I was like, this is gonna be a good dinner. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Once again, with my water almost boiling, I poured in the dye and then added the dress. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, it's got a smell to it. Yeah, it smells really bad. Yeah. But isn't that amazing? Yeah, it looks great. It already is like super dark. Oh, it really smells in here. Yeah, it really smells weird. Good thing. Like super chemically. Yeah, good thing the windows are open. Whoa, baby, okay? Nope. I spilled it on my tummy. Oh, and nice. the floor. You got black on for a reason, right? Yeah, but I should get it off because it's burning my skin. Oh my god. You okay? Um, I think so. It really hurts. Yeah, you burned yourself. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks good. No! Okay, I need to get ice on my stomach ASAP. It hurts so fucking bad. How much did, how did you... Did you get a lot on it? I was trying to kind of flip it over. So it would be more even. Clearly I shouldn't have done that. Yo, when I said you need drama on your channel, I did not mean this. <laughs> Back to stirring for the rest of the 30-ish minutes, this time with a sandwich bag of ice and a shit ton of caution. Got my ice in place. This was some dangerous shit, yo. Oh my god, that smells terrible. Yep, it does. Wow. I know, right? It smells like the convenience store down the street. <laughs> Look at that. Honestly? Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Morning after the incident, burn update. There's like one little blister in it. It hurt for the entire night after the fact though. It hurt until the moment I went to sleep. Here's our fully dyed dress. I think it came out absolutely perfect. The shade of gray is perfect. It's completely even. There's no spots where it's too dark or too light. Was it worth the burn on my stomach? I don't know. The next step now is just to remove all of the chiffon so that we're left with basically just this base layer. And then from there, I'm gonna be able to reattach the chiffon, but in a way more interesting way. So I set to work removing all of the chiffon using both a stitch ripper and some sharp snips. Then I just needed to iron out all of the wrinkles from the skirt. All right guys, so I have the chiffon fully removed from the dress. As you can see, the skirt is all over my floor and that's pretty much what I'm gonna use for the whole rest of the dress. So the idea is I'm gonna trim the skirt to like at least half the length and then I'm gonna reapply this skirt but bunching it up so that it's gathered and then I'm gonna take the leftover chiffon, bunch that up and put it over the bust and along like the center area around the waist. I started by chalking out how long I wanted the lining skirt to be and then cutting off the excess. Then I spread out the chiffon skirt on my floor so that I could start cutting it. Chiffon looks great, but honestly it's the absolute worst to both cut and sew. It's super light and shifty and really slippery and it's just hard to manage. Oh god, no! Why is this fabric so fucking shifty? Why do you have to be this way? Now the skirt is cut. I used the circle skirt to cut another circle skirt, but just like a slightly smaller one because I want the dress to be shorter. And now that I have it cut, I'm gonna set it on fire, sort of. I'm gonna burn the edge of the chiffon with this lighter. I wanna avoid, if at all, having to sew this with a machine. So if I burn the edges to finish them, they won't fray and hopefully it'll look okay. After burning the skirt, I needed to adjust the dress neckline. I wanted it to be a little bit more low cut so that it wasn't so matronly looking. 
Then I put the dress on my Judy and started hand sewing a strip of chiffon under the bust, gathering it up as I went along. What up guys, so here's an update on the dress. Here's where we're at. So basically, this layer that's sewn on right now is only gonna come to about here. Then the skirt will attach and then I'll attach the cups. Now I needed to evenly gather the lower part of this piece along the waist. Okay, this worked out pretty damn well, I would say. Honestly, the hand sewing didn't take that that long. Like, it was manageable. Okay, this is like one third done basically now. So we just need to do, I think I'm gonna do the cups next. Skirt last, not looking forward to doing the skirt. Not gonna lie. I trimmed off the excess fabric with some scissors, leaving about one inch extra hanging down. This will eventually be covered up by the skirt. Next, I cut out two matching triangles for the cups. I sewed these at the very top where the strap connects first, and then I did the same hand sewing slash gathering process all along the bottom. This is a good spot to call it. The next morning, bright and early, I started to tackle the skirt. The first step was to sew it and attach it to the edge of the zipper, and then from there I could start gathering it up and sewing the whole way around the waist. To keep the gathers even, I pinned the skirt to the dress at some anchor points, the front and both side seams. After that, I started trimming the skirt by putting it on the Judy and actually measuring up from the table using a ruler the whole way around. All right guys, so the dress is like all but done now. Here it is, ah, it looks super cute. I can't wait for you guys to see it on Courtney. I can't wait to see it on Courtney. The only thing is because I apparently forgot how circle skirts work, I had to trim the hem. It started sagging in more areas than the other and the hem became completely uneven. So I had to trim the whole entire thing like you just saw and I'm gonna have to reburn it. But my thumb literally cannot take on my right hand, of course, doing this any longer. I cannot do it. So I'm gonna have to go out later on and get like a barbecue lighter so that I can reburn the hem. And then at that point it's fully done. Got the barbecue lighter. I trimmed the fabric to make sure it was a nice smooth edge and then started burning again. This time with some help. Look, we're almost done. Moving along. You keep saying that. What does that mean? Are we actually almost done? Actually though, right, right here is where we started. Look how close we are. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> And watching you do this delicate little procedure is just fucking killing me. <laughs> Why is it killing you? I don't know, I just want to light the thing off there. Okay, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. You asked me, bro. Oh my god. Trying to diet? Yeah. No way. Yeah, because you like it's poly. I can't wait till you watch that part of the video. It's <laughs> it's, it's like it's shitty, but it's fucking hysterical. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta try it on. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh hey. I didn't really check all the way, but it looks yeah. so good. Oh my god! It's like amazing! I'll do it! I'll do the backup, I'll do the backup. Dude, oh my gosh, Courtney, I am like so relieved that you are happy. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks so good. Yay! I love it. Oh my god, yes! Success! Oh, I love that flow when you spin too. I'm so happy that you're happy. Thank I was you. like thinking at the beginning of the video, I'm like, she deserves to have a dress she can like wear because you paid money for it. So yeah. now it's something you can wear more often, hopefully. Totally. Like it's something that's not like overly like bridesmaidy, 
you wear like, it's like, hey, you're gonna wear it to like a wedding once. Yeah. Like now I could wear it like out. Yeah, that yeah. looks like a dress that you just wear. I wear it for like a dinner or something. Yeah, yeah it's like a nice, yeah. like a nice dinner, not yeah. just like a beach day, but. <laughs> I love it. It looks so I'm good. I'm so happy to be on it. Amazing.